Dragonfly, remember? Of course. You know, you can call your father sometimes. And you can remember that I don't utilize modern technology. Phones only allow us to connect vocally. I prefer to connect on more spiritual level. Well, if you don't want to call, you can always text. Okay. I see you brought your girl of the week. I know. <laughs> Roxy and I just so happen to be in love. How long have you known this one? Since Thursday. Thursday? <laughs> yeah, Thursday. Oh, Thursday, that was such a great day. You bet it was, baby. I remember it like it was only yesterday. Well, considering the fact that today is Friday, <laughs> it was only yesterday. <laughs> but it seems like we've known each other forever. Yeah. Really, Ray, you make me lovable. You mean his wallet is just too lovable. What are you trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say. No, I don't. What are you trying to say? A million, or dragonfly. You got it all wrong. Roxy loves me for who I am. Yeah. Not for what I desire. Yeah, although I do love this dress you bought me. Tugs you know where I place this, baby. Tugs you know where I place this, baby. Did you say something? No. Have <laughs> <laughs> you spoken to your mother lately? Maybe I have, and maybe I haven't. What's it to you? I'll be like that. Your mother and I may not be together anymore, but I still worry about it. I know she is well. Mom is just fine. I thought you said your ex-wife was mentally insane. Well, she isn't. Just because Mama happens to live her life a little differently doesn't mean she's insane. But I guess that's what politicians do best. Spread propaganda to bring down those of us who live alternative lifestyles. Dragonfly, you must admit, your mother's case goes well beyond living alternative. Mama's perfectly normal. Mama! <laughs> Your daughter! Dragonfly! Oh, that's right. My brain's a little fuzzy. Oh. Honey. <laughs> Mama, you look beautiful. Is that your ex-wife? Sadly, yes. That's Vivian. Oh, she seems nice. And Vivian, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Bear Cavity's tree. I'm Tennessee Nippy. But let's get down to business. How's the man drive? I'm Asian again. You, you must be a judge. I'm parched from all my shimming and shaking. Where can I find something to drink? I got for four seconds in my hamper's van from the whole time she walked up the driveway. Did you say something? <laughs> no. <laughs> that hits the spot. The owner of this rich joint must be loaded, but then again, who is it nowadays? They don't call these the roaring 20s for nothing. Hey, do you even think she's at a dance hall? Is she still not well? She's been the poor therapist of none to figure out why she thinks she's living in the 20s. The best they can come up with, four center body in the shop, and now she wants to do it today's advance to Charleston. She must think this wedding is some sort of competition or something. Such a shame. And Vivian, let me show you some make one essentials. That'll help bring your style a little more up here. Style a little more up today. I'd like to be in here. Oh, Mom, if you don't quit dancing with this drink in your hand, you'll spill all of your dress. Be here for your son's wedding. Have a seat. Relax. I can do something here. Here you go. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come and go. Come and go. I mean, honey. <laughs> good evening. Beautiful time for a wedding, isn't it? So is everyone ready? Yes, good, great. Let's get the show on the road. I've got stuff to do. Who's getting married? Not me. I don't plan on having a traditional marriage ceremony. Love is all I need, man. Well, I assumed you weren't the one getting married. Dressed like that. You don't have <coughs> shoes on. I like how my feet to physically connect to Mother Earth. It makes me feel so connected. Whatever. Have you ever decided you want to give your hair that long over your shampoo and say before? Shoot me a call. The name's Josie, professional hairstylist at your service. I've got the online certification to prove it. Are you uh -huh. here for the wedding, too? Well, who do you think's going to perform the ceremony? The stylist? <coughs> oh, I haven't changed my clergy attire yet. <coughs> the name's Josie, professional wedding officiator at your service. I've got the online certification to prove it. Josie, fabulous, you're here. The ceremony is about to begin. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Do you own a tractor? No. A hydraulic lift? No. A garbage disposal? Yeah. I just had mine replaced last year. I was probably the girl.
girls who installed it. My name's Josie, professional plumber at your service. I've got the online certification approval. You look like a minister to me. Josie has many, has many odd jobs. I hired her to perform the ceremony because she was the only one who would marry the lovebirds and then fly them to the tropics for the honeymoon. My name's Josie. I know, I know, professional pilot. At my service, she's at the online certification approval. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, how about you come upstairs with me and you can go to the wedding singer where she should in her, insert her music for the program. And we might need an organist. She can play, right? Blindfolded. Fabulous. <laughs> travels and I was in town so I figured I'd pop on by. <laughs> but I won't stay for the reception. That would just that would just be rude. Uh, I'd like to provide a life or two while I'm here. But I had a long bump the elf right on the way here. Is anybody know where the bathroom's at? Much obliged. The wedding will now begin. We still have 10 seconds. One more moment, darlings. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, your family really is punctual. <laughs> Simply excited to be here. Sure. 
Barbara, how about humming a fabulous wedding march? Humming wasn't in my contract. How about you just hum? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Did my eyes deceive? Was I put under a hex or am I standing by the altar with my crazy hands? I can hear you stopping making big mistakes in your life. Who is that dark and dreary girl? My name is Penelope H. She's no one. Is there a problem, miss? No, there's not. No problem here, gal. I'm marrying Anna, the stupid person. <coughs> Anna looks beautiful. What a lovely bouquet. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join Michael and Anna in the bonds of matrimony. If there is anyone present who knows of reason that these two should not be together, speak now for our brother peace. Well, I... No, Tom. Michael, do you take Anna to be your husband while you have had in the home of sickness and health for Richard the Fourth of empty heart? I can only say... I do, I do. I truly love my students. Anna, do you agree with what I just said about the model? Anna, do you agree with what I'm supposed to say? Is my other commission to speak? No, Tom. Cheetah!